Hi, I'm Jason Blackett. In this Chalk Talk, you'll learn about how to implement user-based management in Zenworks Configuration Management 10. User-based management is a simple-to-use implementation that allows you to really capitalize on the flexibility that Zenworks 10 Configuration Management provides. To do this, we basically allow you to attach your Zenworks server to a directory. And we currently support two directories, either Novell's eDirectory or Microsoft Active Directory. To do that, you basically establish what we refer to as a user source, which is a connection from your Zenworks primary server back to one of those sources. To do that, you simply need the IP address, potentially a certificate, as well as a set of credentials that you can use to have Zenworks log in. Once you've established that connection, so now I have a connection to one or both. If you have multiple user sources in your environment, you can link Zenworks transparently to both of those. And now your Active Directory users can benefit from Zenworks, as well as your eDirectory users. If you have multiple domains in your environment, you can link multiple domains into that environment as well. Once you have those connections set up, you can then assign policies and you can assign bundles to users instead of workstations. Now, you can actually do it to both at any given time once you have a user source set up. So I may have some policies that are device-based while I have others that are user-based. Good example, uh, printer policies are something that commonly we want to follow the workstation because a lot of times I want the default policy for printers to print to the printer that's closest to the workstation. Meanwhile, for users, I may have a dynamic local user policy if I'm using eDirectory. And in that case, I want the user to always have the same set of rights no matter which workstation they go to. Additionally, with bundles, if I assign a bundle to Bob here, so I take and assign a bundle to Bob, on the refresh, wherever Bob happens to be, whether it's on Manage Device 1, let's say he's there today, when he logs in, he's going to get all of the policies and bundles assigned to the managed device and all of the policies and bundles assigned to himself. Now what that means is, no matter where Bob goes, if there's an application that Bob needs to get his job done, Bob's going to have access to that application. He can double click the application, it's going to install, and Bob can get his job done. When he goes over to manage object 2, same thing happens. Now, if you take the printer policy example, I may have a different printer on Manage Device 1, so I may have printer 1 here, which basically is the default because machine 1 may be in Provo. Machine 2, when Bob goes there, may actually be in New York City. And so when he's in New York City, you don't want Bob to send all of his print jobs back to Provo. Additionally, Zenworks allows you to leverage this same user source concept for administration. So when I set up administrators in the Zenworks Control Center, I can do that two ways. Either I can define a local administrator in the Zenworks system itself, or I can say Bob is an administrator in the system. So now Bob can come to the administrative device, which is just any device with a browser, go to Zenworks Control Center, and log in with his same normal username and password. Now because of the way that we've implemented the Active Directory eDirectory connection, we aren't doing synchronization, we're actually doing live LDAP queries. The advantages here is the eDirectory administrator, the Active Directory administrator can make changes at will. They can do things like rename users, add them to new groups, change phone numbers, whatever, and Zenworks is going to pick those things up dynamically on the fly. Additionally, because of the way we do this, if you happen to acquire a company and now you want to extend management to their users, it's simply a matter of take your ZCM server, hook it up to the user source in the company that you just acquired, and now all of the users have access to whatever resources they need. You can then take and put a satellite server out at the office in company two to get the content local to them, and now you're ready to begin having company two's employees use your applications or apply your policies. So user management really does offer the flexibility to help you get the most strategic value out of your systems management solution.